Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. I'd like to call to order at 6.30, according to the uh, Comcast Verizon clock that I'm looking at. Uh, first order of business is the minutes of April 18th. And hopefully we're going to try to make it a quick meeting this evening. Um, we have a... Another get we have another gala to attend on Friday. Another gala, right? yep, that's right. So uh, festivities never end this week. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The, the, this, this is, and Thursday night, yeah, we all got stuff going on. So, all right. Anyways, so at this time, uh, with FCAT's yeah. approval, let's get into our meeting. So. FCAT gives us a thumbs up. We're rolling. All right. First order of business, April 18, twenty two. Minutes. Motion? Motion. Second. You know, it took us a year. We finally got that. Right? That was very, What? that was pretty damn good. All right. We have a motion Talk made and walk. seconded <laughs> for the approval of eight, April 18th, 2022. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 How can you read it so small? You, I'm young. Your agenda? Wow, do you have <laughs> Oh, that's huge. Mine is? No, it is. I'm oh, look, look at his. Yeah, I just have the default his size. His is the same size as mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, first day, uh, new business. One day liquor licenses for June 12, 2022. Jeff, what do you got? Yes, we have Mr. Papuchas. Papuchas? Sorry. Oh, you're on mute. Sorry. You're on mute. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, Papuchas. Papuchas. Just like you said, Jeff. And is celebrating his birthday party or somebody else's? My what? wife's. His wife's? Yes. Surprise, right? <laughs> what did you say? It's a surprise party, but don't look. She may be behind you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please don't let her in on the surprise. We're not going we're, we're not going to say a word. I think you can do all the damage yourself, my friend. <laughs> All right, so what do you got? Um, so a uh, one day liquor license application, um, no concerns by police, fire, board of health, building commissioner, um, the, the, be from approximately 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on uh, June 12th. Okay, questions? No. Concerns? Seems straightforward, no. Okay. I would I would say have a good time. Okay, I learned never never to pass along what birthday it is, especially if it's for uh, people that you are, that you know. Um, you say happy birthday and leave it at and that. Happy birthday from <laughs> from all of us. So, <clears throat> motion to approve. Motion. I second. Yeah, motion. Mate, you have anything else you like to add? Probably not, huh? Were you asking me? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, nothing at this time. Thank you. All right. So you have a motion made and seconded. All the uh, paperwork's been done. The fire chief, police chief, all those people said it's good. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Jeffrey, three zero. All right. Thank you. Happy you birthday. You will have a birthday party. Good luck. Thanks, Happy Jeff. birthday. Thank have you. a good night. Happy Thanks birthday. so much. Okay. Next up. On the agenda says we are looking at fiscal year 23 motions. Yes. So the motions are mm -hmm. complete um, with the exception of I need to fill in <clears throat> a couple funding sources. Um, are there, do you want me to go through each yep. okay that we need to okay um article one is nope. pretty much the same as the warrant two same as the warrant article three just the total of the operating budget and the funding sources the total is eight million seven hundred seventy six thousand three hundred and seven thousand um, 53,000 from PEG Access, uh, 
400859 from the Wastewater Treatment Plant Sewer Fund, uh, 136677 from free cash, 24000 from overlay surplus, excuse me, the raise and appropriate was eight million seven hundred seventy-six thousand three hundred seven. The grand total is nine million three hundred ninety thousand eight hundred forty-three. Um, so that raise and appropriate is the tax levy uh, plus state <coughs> aid, essentially the, the revenues. Any questions about? And then in the motion, the the breakdown um, by personnel expenses. Um, that we put in every year. Okay, so I don't see anything in here. It's pro and it's probably for the um, capital. Uh, the capital is uh, Article Four. So you, that it, that doesn't have to be taken care of in the total budget. That's a separate budget, Article 4? Yes. Can you just check that? And that's fine. And that, that I, I, we wouldn't have to put that in Article 3 as money that we're raising. We're not, or you're saying we're not raising. It is included in the eight million seven hundred seventy-six thousand because it's total. an override. Okay. So I guess what I would say is it's not being appropriated in Article Three. Mm -hmm. Raise in Article Three and then appropriate in Article Four. Four. <clears throat> so, so we. My only question is that. We state that we're using PEG access. We're stating that we use what wastewater treatment plant sewer funds. We're stating that we're using free cash. We're not using any stabilization this no. year. Twenty-four thousand from surplus. All right, any other questions in? Are we all set with that as it presented? Yeah. Okay, I'll take a motion on the, uh, the mo uh, to move the motion. Motion. Second. All those in favor of the uh, motion as presented for Article 3 signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, I, and again, that's just for us to, so you can present Article 4. So Article 4 is the capital budget. Um, <clears throat> currently, it states uh, $101,306.48 from the Capital Stabilization Fund and $25,000 from the Sewer Reserve Fund. Um, the projects are $27,206 approximately for year six of the truck lease. It's our second to last year of the lease. Uh, $18,200 for a milling head for the highway department. $18,000 to uh, recarpet the children's room at the library. $14,500 um, for HVAC work at the library. Currently, there is 13800 for glycol sprinkler replacement, um, and I think that that can be removed um, at town meeting because there is no glycol in the sprinklers at the elementary school. No, oh, I've heard that. And that, that has been <laughs> confirmed. Um, 9600 for gable vent and soffit repairs at the elementary school. All of these would be paid for out of capital stabilization, and then twenty-five thousand to repair concrete and slide gates, um, and that would be out of sewer reserve. So I don't have the calculations without the glycol sprinkler replacement. <coughs> so currently, it would be a total of one hundred twenty-six thousand three hundred six dollars and forty-eight cents, um, of which one hundred one thousand three hundred would come out of capital stabilization minus. Thirteen thousand eight hundred is 
um, 87,000-ish, um, 88,000-ish. And before the meeting, I can talk to Mike, and then I can make the motion if you want to, to yeah. remove that. <clears throat> Just figure, give him a heads up, you know. Yeah, yep, absolutely. So, okay, so, so how come we're not including the frontier? Why wouldn't this be in the capital budget? Uh, the yeah, why is it because you're going to layer as a separate article, right? Yes, I believe that that was the recommendation of the capital planning committee and um, confirmed by the select board at previous meeting. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I just thought it was part of the cap. I thought it was part of the capital. I think we've done it both ways, okay. and yeah, yeah, all right. Seem like we should just put it into one. All right. Article five. Um, Article five is uh, thirty-four thousand dollars from free cash um, for accumulated second vacation buyback for Sunderland Elementary School employees. Okay. Motion to use it for free cash. A motion. Second. Uh, Motion made second to use free <coughs> cash for this. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. And that's in the uh, the definition for the uh, the budget, right? The 34000 is included. In the definition for the budget? I'm not sure I understand. You said it in the, when you talk about budget, you're going to take $136,677. Of free cash. Yeah. No, that's just for the operating budget. This would be an addition to that. Okay. Um, next, Article 6 is 3750 for 25% of the Phase 2 ass needs assessment for the Senior Center from free cash. Okay. Motion. Motion. Second. Thirty-seven fifty from free cash for the phase two of the senior center needs assessment. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, article seven is uh, five thousand dollars from free cash uh, for the mosquito <coughs> control district um, year two of the mosquito control district participation. Motion. A motion or seven. Second. Motion made and seconded to uh, pay for the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control from free cash. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Aye. Uh, Article eight, seventeen thousand four hundred fourteen dollars and sixteen cents from capital stabilization for the Frontier uh, walking cooler. Okay. Um, motion. Motion. Second. Motion made and seconded for 17, 4, 14, 16 from capital stabilization. And all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Next year, let's put it all part of the stabilization plan, okay? The uh, capital, capital funding. That, that's kind of, that'd make it consistent for. Yeah, I think that. And we, we can discuss it later, but I think there was discussion at the Frontier Capital Planning Committee, and I don't know if it was prprior to David joining or not that Frontier had wanted it separately I in case yeah. the capital budget article gets voted down for another reason. but um, Well, Frontier can want. Yeah uh, yep, right. I, I just want but, to but we're, what we're trying we're, what we're trying to, to present to our to our residents is a plan right so and said so we looked at the needs of the community our community this is part as far as i know i think frontiers part of front uh, sunderland yep i think because if they're not then why are we giving tax dollars yep. I, I, so so and again they they can want but if they're part of our town they should sorry i'm gonna get on my pontification thing right now it, it it's, re it's redundant. 
and I think it's a waste waste of time doing it that way. But whatever. All right. Should we have to vote yet on that? Yes, we did. Yes. Yep. All right. Number nine. Number nine, one hundred and three thousand two hundred from free cash to the capital stabilization fund. That's our usual shuffle off to that, or is it? To, we should probably like. No, this is to replenish that account because of the oh the issue. Yes, the uh, during the tax rate recap. We have to have the crib notes for that explanation. Yes, <laughs> I will have that. Forgot about that. Okay. Motion. A motion. Mo second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero. Uh, Article 10, um, 166,500. Uh, this one is slightly different after conferring with the accountants and um, CPA committee. Um, 136,500 from CPA undesignated fund balance and 30,000 from CPA budgeted reserve. And this is for uh, renovation of the restrooms Restrooms. making them ADA accessible at Riverside Park. I have a motion. We can't do. Oh. Motion. I motion. Second. Motion made, seconded for the CPA money for the Riverside Park. All those, all those favor for signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, three zero. Article 11, um, 100,000 from CPA budgeted reserve to the Conservation Trust for acquisition um, of parcels. Motion on that. A second. Yeah, and I don't think we have to do anything on this one because we, we only did the last one because we changed a little bit. Yeah, sorry. So this one, I think this we did change. We did change yeah. the fund that it's coming out of. Oh, okay. All right. On this one? Yes. A okay, motion made and seconded to uh, support the uh, motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Uh, article 12 did not change. Okay. Uh, article 13 did not change. Okay. Article 14 did not change. And I think the rest are the consent articles. Okay. Um, I did not hear a vote on the capital budget. Did you, did you vote on that? I think we talked about it. Yeah, we can do another one. Um, that was Article The incomplete five. capital budget? Or the uh, first four. capital article. Right. I'll make a motion on Article 4. I'll second. Motion made and seconded to uh, approve the capital budget that's not complete as presented but I'll take the strike that last all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. three zero anything else no that, that's it for for motions all right, so we're all set with that. Yep. Select board updates, David. I don't have any updates this week. You all set? Yeah. No other meetings this week. It was unusually quiet in that respect. Okay. I'm all set. I had nothing this week either. All righty. A uh, couple things. I got a FERCOG meeting Thursday night. Um, to, so that the Franklin County Council of Governments, we have that meeting. Um, we the seniors had a a volunteer appreciation luncheon last Thursday over at the Whateley Inn. It was exceptionally well attended, um, and there was a meeting about the Sunland Senior Center. Jeff said there was what, about 45 people, he said, were to, in attendance. Um, somebody said there were 70. That's 70. what I had heard yeah. was somewhere around 70. So I would say to other communities, if you ever 
just happened to be listening to other towns, I would get off the stick and look at providing senior housing because there there is an exceptional need for senior housing. I would tell people that what you have read and stuff, it's a good place to start with, um, but don't take yourself out of applying just because of what you heard about, about uh, monies or anything else like that. Still apply, go through the process, let the professionals make the determination if, if you are or if you are not eligible. So don't listen to your somebody tell you that you're not qualified, you won't qualify. Al allow the process to, to work itself out because you may find, you may be surprised at who is available for um, the housing allowance. So just, just if, if you are interested, apply, talk to them. Let them tell you. Let the housing authority tell you that you don't qualify. And if you don't qualify in Sunderland, maybe there's another place that you do qualify. So, um, or they, they have other options, maybe. So, please um, don't don't give up just because of what somebody told you, or what you heard, or what you think. Let that determination be made by the professionals. Um, I know that May first. There, there are going to be another um, two to four, another presentation at the uh, Life Path Walk. So you can you can find that day. I'm sure we'll talk about it Friday night because we have our town meeting. Town meeting is scheduled for next Friday at 7 o'clock at the Sunderland Elementary School. Our next meeting will be Friday. April 29th at 6:30, just prior to the Sunderland Elementary, in case something something comes up. Um, annual town elections is May 7th, so I hope everybody will be able to take some time on Friday at 6:30, or it's actually town meeting starts at 7 o'clock on April 29th, um, and election or May 7th, and come out and vote for those. Without Jeffrey, town administrator, updates. I just add that the applications for the senior affordable housing are uh, available both on the website and uh, in town hall, um, and more information on the upcoming information sessions are on the website as well. But don't don't hesitate to call. I will say that the one thing that RDI asked is. Don't return your applications to the town. They don't want it coming through us. They want to get them directly. directly. Um, so if, if we refuse to take it, it's not because we don't want you to be part of it. It's because we want to make sure that your application right gets to the right place at the right time. Um, and we will do our best to help with that. And and I hope, and again, I hope that you do apply um, and don't hesitate to apply. And, and again, or if you have questions, you can talk to the housing authority direct and that's probably you know I can tell you one thing Crystal can tell you another David can tell you a third Jeff can tell you a fourth none of that matters because we're not involved with the uh, the lottery system it's run through the housing authority so talk to them and they can they can walk you through the application process and make it happen um, but that's it's but it's critical that you talk to them okay so right now I will uh, ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, declare the meeting out at seven six fifty five and uh, hope to see you all on Friday night, April twenty ninth at seven PM. Town meeting time. Thank you.